Okay. Well, here's the news. I managed to foul the spark plugs this morning when I tried to start this without draining the carburetor bowl all, all the way first. There was still fuel left in the bowl, so when I primed the engine, it pumped more fuel in. When I went to start it, it started on one cylinder, and it loaded up the other cylinder without firing. So, what I gotta do now is remove the spark plugs and put fresh spark plugs in, because once they've loaded up like that, they're hard to clean. So I'm gonna start out by removing the old ones. The back one was the cylinder that was firing. I could tell that when I stopped the engine because I touched the fins and it was warm. The front one was not firing. Okay, tight, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm going left, it should loosen. There's not much length to this. And of course I may have the threads. I did not put any, any C's. Ah, there it is. We got it loose. I did not put any C's compound on the uh, spark plugs when I put them on last time. This time, the fresh spark plugs have anti C's compound on them. Now, when I open this one up, it should drain out nothing. It should be dry because it was firing. Spark plugs backing out nicely. Let's get loose. So we'll be there in a second. I think we're there actually. Almost. Oh, there it goes. And there were a couple of drops of fuel. This is uh, pretty dirty. So it's probably a good thing that I'm removing it. These have about 20 hours in these plugs, so usually about 15 to 25 hours, I end up replacing the plugs anyway. So it was due. And that one's this. Okay, now this one's probably gonna have quite a bit more fuel. So I'm gonna make sure everything's out of the way. And now I can turn it by fingers. And we'll do that. Actually, it may be faster to still use the wrench because it's not quite at the point where... And by the way, I have these safety wired. The reason I have them safety wired is the prior owner had some problems where occasionally he would uh, end up with his spark plug boots falling off. So he learned to safety wire the boots to the uh, engine. Um, so, but the problem with the safety wire is it's stainless steel wire and uh, the edges can be sharp. I managed to punch a hole in my thumb already uh, putting new safety wire on the new plugs. Don't, I don't reuse the safety wire, I don't even recommend it. That's quite a bit wetter. That plug was just full of fuel. Now. Next step, these plugs have been gapped to 15 thousandths. That's the recommended on this engine. Uh, there's safety wire installed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on both sides of the plug. I'm gonna hand tighten in. Oh, and I put anti seize compound on the threads so that I won't have a potential problem of that happening, of, of the threads sticking. So I'm gonna start this in by hand. And unfortunately, it's just kind of snug to get it in there, so. Uh, but I don't want to use a wrench until I, the threads are cleanly going in. That said, <laughs> you gotta catch them. And I still don't have it. By the way, this engine would be a lot easier to service if it was a, an upright installation rather than an inverted installation. I think I may have caught the thread, or I might have it cross-threaded slightly because it doesn't want to turn anymore by fingers. So I'm going to start, back it up, and start over, and see if we can get that catch nice and cleanly.
part of what, oh there, that's much better. Part of what's going on is the safety wire actually gets in the way of being able to uh, put those threads or get in there. But that seems to be, now, very gently, I'm going to use the regular wrench to turn it in. Assuming it doesn't catch or anything. Yeah, it's nice and loose. I'm not going to use the torque wrench until I get it pretty much seated. But I don't want to actually torque it at all, so I'm, notice I'm almost using it like a screwdriver. I've got my fingers right at the middle of it. leverage in any of the arm to uh, tighten this. The issue with using, uh, uh, I may have to take the little boot off the socket because it has trouble reaching in there uh, far enough. Okay, now we'll put the, the other plug in. Now what, one thing I could do, now, the ignition is disconnected, but I'm going to turn this over slowly. Oops, and of course I get my table. Turn this over slowly, and I make sure if there's no fuel that comes dribbling out when I do that. Oh, I love it. You shouldn't drop your, spark, your uh, torque wrench. It's not a good thing to do to one. Okay, which I just did. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the other one in. And again, there is anti-seize compound on the threads. Uh, we just got to get them started. The anti-seize compound is good to 1,200 degrees. Now, if the head of this engine gets that hot, <laughs> man, I'm in trouble. That's way, way hotter than uh, this aluminum should be. It probably has very, very little strength left if you get it that hot. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and finish pushing that, getting that in with, a, with the wrench until it seats but isn't tight. We're almost there. Lots of threads. That one's snug. This one's almost snug. Now, the torque wrench is 240 inch pounds or 20 foot pounds. And I've got it set for that. It should make a fairly loud uh, pop sound when uh, I get there. So let's see if we can get this to seat onto that plug without pulling that rubber stopper out of there. Might have to. There it is. We keep it nice and straight. Okay, we're getting there. I heard a little click. I thought it was going to be louder than that. Specs. I rehook up the, the spark plug cap. Now I take my safety wire, bring it around the bottom, give it a couple of twists so it can't disconnect. Let's do that on the other plug. Okay. Again. 
couple of twists. Got these little wings here. We're gonna retighten the safety wire because I didn't get it up where it belonged. There, that's better. Okay, now those are just there to keep it safe. Okay, now I had pre-flighted this airplane entirely earlier, so what I'm gonna do is pull it out, check the clock, and maybe get a test flight, and make sure those are where they belong and doing what they need to do. See you in a few minutes.